Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to use Class Notebook in Microsoft Teams. So what is Class Notebook? So Class Notebook is a digital notebook for your whole class to store text, images, handwritten notes, attachments, links, voice, video and much more. As a teacher you can create content and share that with students. So as a teacher you will get lot of option one of such option is a content library so content library is a read only space where teachers can share handouts with student as a teacher what i do is i just uh, record all my notes in my content library and teach students whenever they get time they just open my content library and then uh, they just read my notes next option which we get is a collaboration space it's a space where everyone in your class can share organize and collaborate so this is just like a whiteboard in a class where you and students can simultaneously write you can ask question and student can reply by just writing on this collaboration space the only condition is the students and teacher should have good internet connection so next option is student notebook this is a private space shared between teacher and each individual student so as a teacher i will have access of all notebooks so that means i can see notebooks of my entire class but student can see only their own notebook okay so what uh, how we usually use uh, use this part in our classes whenever we want to uh, students to write anything so they just write uh, in their student notebook and as a teacher what i do is i just review their notes i give my remarks and i put my annotations over there So this is how a student notebook content library and collaboration space works. So let's learn how to actually use them. What are different options and how to share handouts in Microsoft OneNote. Okay, so the first thing which I have to do is I have to open my system application. For mobile users, I will make a separate video. So for system applications, uh, let's open our system application. go to journal section and click on class notebook here so if you are using it uh, class notebook for the first time so you will get this uh, page click on setup one note class notebook okay since i don't have any existing notebook so click on blank notebook okay so this is just a basic introduction which we already discussed the about the collaboration space it is space where te te teacher and student both can edit the content and uh, content library where te teachers can publish their notes and teacher will have edit rights but student can only view the content and again uh, we have a private space for teachers where teachers can edit the content student can just view the content and finally we have a student notebooks where teacher can edit and student can edit only his own notebook not the notebook of other students in fact student will not be able to view the notebook of other students okay so let's click on next and start so your notebook will appear the uh, like this okay so uh, student name handouts class notes homework quizzes in case you want to add any sections you can uh, click on add section say for example i will add one more section practicals okay and i will click on create and your class book uh, class notebook is ready so the next interface which will appear is uh, the welcome message from onenote again they are giving the brief summary of student notebooks content library and collaboration space so you can use this class notebook either in browser just see here you can open either in browser or in uh, microsoft microsoft onenote application so which you have to again download from the microsoft website and uh, after that now i will i will be using this in microsoft team uh, application only so let's click on this carrot icon after that our navigation panel will appear so let's explore the option in the navigation panel so in the in your navigation panel you will have options of collaboration space content library teacher only notebook and student notebooks okay so this is a navigation panel view for teachers so students will only get uh, will or uh, they will see only collaboration space and uh, content library which is only view mode for them 
and they're on notebook okay and at the bottom if you see you will able to see add page option and add add section option so in case you want to add section you can click on this uh, option and in case you want to add page you can click on this plus icon let's start with the collaboration space uh, so collaboration space is space where teachers and student both can edit this space that means teacher can also write the notes students can also write the note and they can edit notes in on real time basis so this will work just like your whiteboard so let's see so for for example before my class uh, let's click on the collaboration space add page here and this is untitled page give it some title let's give a title of chem class and before my chem class i want to share uh, some questions to the students and uh, students can uh, actually appear that question in real on real time basis in between the class and i can share the screen where the student attempts or or i can call a specific student to attempt that question uh, on my screen because students and teachers both can edit this document so now what we will do is uh, so let's uh, view this class notebook and browser as well and let's see how the interface appears the interface is almost similar so let's see what how it it will be in browser okay so interface is almost similar in browser as uh, as well and you can see the same thing is updated in browser as well only thing which we, uh, which i wanted to show is if i click on these three notebooks so you will get your notebook list so i uh, i am operating all these notebooks so let's click on some other notebook and see how it appears okay so this is the here i can see notebook of some other class and uh, the first op, uh, space which we discussed is a collaboration space so now let's come to the content library as a teacher i add all my notes i add my audio notes video uh, links and my road maps everything in my content notebook the best part of content notebook is this is uh, only teacher can edit this part so students can only view this part okay so i can create a standard content which the students can refer whenever they feel like so let's see so let's click on this so you can see see my content library i have created uh, some content for uh, this chapter and uh, you can see i have created all this content for my students and they can refer uh, to it whenever they feel like on teacher navigation panel the next thing which i will see is uh, student notebooks so let's uh, click on any student notebook and see what we will get us so we will get the different groups within the sections so here you can see class notes class handouts homework quizzes okay so let's uh, students usually they write all their notes in class notes so let's see what students have written in their class notes so one of the, my student uh, he just mentioned his problem statement for any experiment so students can write their own notebooks they can copy the content from uh, content library they can put their own links so this is how the student can maintain their notes so in case you want to give some handouts so handouts will come in this option and uh, in case you have to assign any homework so you can assign that homework in the homework section and this quizzes part is for the quizzes section so in case you want to give some quiz you you can uh, use this part to assign the quiz okay and about the functionality that how to distribute page how to distribute new section copying content to the content library reviewing student work and uh, how to add or remove students and basic fun functionalities of one note so we will be discussing in the another video uh, so please check the next part to uh, know more about the functionality of microsoft one note thank you everyone